Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm back with another haul video. There is a lot of brass right here that I picked up recently at a yard sale of all places. So I have lots of brass and I also have some other things from another yard sale. But I did, I ran into a yard sale that's basically an estate sale because she was downsizing everything and her husband had collected brass. And so I'm gonna jump right on in. I, uh, I have a lot of it. I spent about $80 just on brass and then some other things. And so we're gonna kind of skip all around and I wanna go pretty quickly. So let's start off with these awesome sailboats. Now, I don't remember how much I paid for each and every item, but all the brass that I'm gonna show was $80 worth. So we've got the sailboat here, this sailboat here, and then a slightly smaller one. So we've got the three. The three. And I think I'm gonna, there's just so much on this table. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I think I'm gonna sell all three sailboats for, well, I'm not actually sure. So I feel like it would be around $30 or so, uh, maybe a little bit more, but I don't think much less than that. So the next thing is actually, I'm not sure what it is, but it's cool and I bought it because it's just a neat little covered bowl. Yeah, it's, it's sort of different. Most of this is from the, I think all of it's from the 70s, the made in India brass. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty neat. So not sure about what I would sell this one for. I would think somewhere around the mid 20s to late, mid 20s to late 20s, somewhere in there as far as the price. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the design of it. And then this is really, really awesome. It's the brass duck, the covered duck. Let me line that up. There we go. Right. So it's a brass duck. It's pretty large. This again would be mid to late 20s in price range. And it's brass and it has made in Korea on the bottom of this one. And then I bought, this is not brass. This is just a cool box. I did pay $3 for it at the yard sale. And it has the basket on it. What's in here? Oh. Huh, that's inside of it. I, I didn't know that was there. Superstars music cards. So I like the decoration on here, the little basket motif. Yeah, $3 is a little bit much for a yard sale for a tin like this. I mean, compared to, compared to other yard sales, but it's still a great price for resale. So I picked it up for $3. I would expect to sell this for about 12 to 15 uh, because it's cool looking. And then I got a lot of brass owls. So let me go rather quickly on the owls. We've got this one. Let's try to get that focus. Okay, we got that one. Then we have this, this one. We have a slightly smaller one. We have another, a lot of these look very similar. So I'm probably gonna group them in little sets of three. There's that one, that's a shiny one. And you know, then you can have groups of three owls at a time. We've got this one. Each one of these owls, I would probably expect to sell for mm, about $8. You know, yeah, about somewhere between five to eight, depending on the size. And then once it's grouped up, it'll just be whatever that is, but all those owls. Okay. so. That was all the owls that I bought, although there were a few more that I just didn't get because I I even have my limits on how many owls and brass I'm really gonna buy. But this next thing is very, very cool. It's actually a brass horse. This is going to do really well, I think. I don't usually see brass horses out and about, but that's really neat. And um, there were specific items. I was like, well, how much do you want for this? And I asked and I think this one right here might have been either $8 or $10 that I paid of that overall 80. But uh, yeah, I would expect this thing here to sell for somewhere between 30 to $40, just because it's really cool. Now that said, I haven't figured out whether, which items are going to be on eBay versus the, uh, my Friday night live sale. I haven't really figured that out yet. I'm thinking like, Things like the sailboats, those will probably go on eBay, up on auction. The horse, probably on eBay. Uh, the duck, probably on eBay. I guess the larger things, and then like say the smaller things, for the most part might go on my Friday night sale. But we're not done. Now here's another large thing. Look at that. 
this is outrageous. <laughs> so it's like a fighting chicken, fighting rooster. It's so, so cool. Oh, I love that. This here I would probably sell for around the, I don't know actually. I, I wanna say like 30, mid 30s on this one, maybe, maybe a little bit more. I don't know, I haven't looked that up specifically. I know brass is popular right now. Then I got this, just a little decoration napkin holder. Just pretty, it has that sort of uh, Victorian kind of a vibe to it. A little bit of maybe Art Nouveau, but before that a little bit more so. So it has that kind of Victorian style. Uh, what else do people call that? It was, it, uh, 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 ooh, I lost my words. I'll just move on. Okay, so then we have the brass horse. Uh, you're not a horse. You're a frog. You're not a frog either. You're a turtle. <laughs> they look a lot alike. So we've got the f f turtle. We've got the brass turtle. So it's very cool. And it's a little tidbit thing. You just open up a shell and you can put in your, I think it's an ashtray, but it makes a great little trinket thing. So we've got the brass turtle. This I paid $2 for, so that was a big win. And I also bought the, uh, is it an ant eater or an aardvark? I don't know, but there it is. Very cool. Oh, isn't there another animal that kind of looks like that with an A? Not an antelope. A, um, I don't know. I have to just give up on that one. Uh, oh, so, hey. It's not broken. This 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 is what fell earlier. I did get a few other non-brass items. I still have more brass to go to, but I bought these. They're little cardinal salt and pepper shakers. They were 50 cents for the pair of them at that yard sale. I thought that was a really great price for the Japan, for the Japan figurines, or the uh, salt and, wait a minute. They're not a salt. They're just figurines. They're not salt and pepper. And then they also, I also bought these little ducks. They're Wait a These are salt and pepper shakers. They are super cute here, look. I love the coloring on the wings. So 50 cents for the pair, that is a great yard sale price. These I would put in, my, in a Friday night live sale and they would sell for about eight to $10 as salt and pepper shakers, so that's very good. And then I also bought these salt and peppers for 50, oh no! Aww. Well, that's just sad. These are uh, souvenir type pieces. They had like a foil sticker. His wing had been broken off. So what I think I'm now going to do is put this in a, in a thing of broken figurines that I have. And this one I'm going to put onto the side and try to find kind of a, neat, a nice little match for it. Something that accents a chicken. I don't know what accents a chicken, but maybe a dog or something. <laughs> something that kind of looks nice with it. That's my only hope, I think, at this point. Yeah. So, we'll put those over there. I also, oh, you, this isn't old. I bought this from a different yard sale. It's kind of like a carnival, okay. It's not carnival glass at all. So get that out of your mind. I'll get that out of my mind too. This is very iridescent and new. It's very new and it was 25 cents. I bought it because it looks cool. So, it's not vintage, but it just looks cool. So I figure for 25 cents, I'll pay that and I'll sell it for like four or five dollars on one of my Friday night live sales because it's just very pretty. So there's that. Uh, back to the brass, I have a trio of deer. These are very kind of Christmas looking or hunting related. We've got that deer and we have this deer right here. So that one. And then the last one involved is this one. This one has more of a texture on it, but all three of those deer, I don't know if I would sell those together. These two honestly match, so I would probably sell those two. Looks like the male, the female. And then is your antler screwed up? No, it's just, that's just the way they made it. Okay, this deer, this deer isn't like, I'll sell this one separately probably. Oh, price range. So these two right here, I would sell for probably around 
12 to 14 dollars for the pair of them did i forget the, to price other things uh, i don't think i did hmm. okay this one probably probably a eight dollar brass deer and then the uh okay hmm ah look at this fish this is brass that's cool huh so that one is made of brass and it says made in korea on the bottom of this one this one i probably sell for about the mid 20s um yeah i think so i mean it's pretty good size mid 20s plus shipping on ebay i think and then let, let's finish out the brass items and then we'll we'll come back around to some other non-brass things i'm sick of saying brass as much as you hate hearing it i'm sure so we've got the gaza or the um the great pyramids of giza so we've got all three of them that's kind of fun so there they are we've got the great one i don't know what they call the other ones <laughs> the, the not so great one and the okay one <laughs> So we've got the three pyramids and they kind of set all inside of each other in a way so you could hide them you just have one uh there there they are the, the pyramids are kind of cool i haven't for sure i have the the figural things i can kind of get a better understanding on value of but something like this i don't have a clue with what they would sell for but i would if i still were going off of the same sort of criteria as other brass things i would think somewhere around five dollars each so this is probably as a set though probably a twenty dollar set maybe a little bit more plus shipping for the pyramids now we've got pigs we've got this pig it's another set and then we have these two pigs so the three oh three little pigs i just got that well they're not so little but that is taiwan by the way Highmark giftware. So the three pigs I will probably sell as, as a family, and I would think somewhere around about twenty dollars or so as well. Maybe mid twenties for the pigs because pig collectors, you know, that's a thing. And then, oh, well, I forgot about it. Look, the other one. So I am tempted to sell the pair of these because they're supposed to be fighting each other. They're fighting roosters. So as a pair, maybe maybe even like $50 or so for the pair. $50 or 60. Somewhere between 50 to 60 for the pair of, of fighting brass. Yeah, I would think somewhere around there. But I'm going to put them up on eBay. Okay, then we have the brass duck. Not sure why about the brass duck there was even more brass things that i left but i had my limits i told you that earlier about even the owls and i was like gosh you know i, I just I, I i could have bought all of it but then it came to a point where there were like a lot of small small things and i got one duck or goose one goose and then i have this i i, I feel pretty satisfied in the stuff that i did buy i think i got the best of the best i'm just saying so we've got this animal here, or well, it's a fly, I think. And you could put your ashes in there. I like it, or your pills, if you've got pills. And then I did buy the little bird. I did buy the tiny bird, because I thought it was cute. Yeah, the, the bird I would probably sell for like eight to $10. That uh, fly thing, probably 12 to $14, because it has more motion and stuff too. It's more interesting, I think. And then, oh, we've got a little deer that looks kind of like Bambi because of the butterfly. So this one I'd probably sell for around 14, 15. Yeah. And just a couple more brass to go. Okay, right here. This is it. Yeah. We've got that dog. Or no, that's a seal. We've got, <laughs> yeah, well, that's a seal, all right. So you've got that seal, the brass one, and then this beautiful butterfly trinket. I think it's cool. Or you could do other things with it, um, like surf maybe food, I don't know. But it's cool. The uh, This, I'm not sure. I would think maybe about $10 for it, maybe more. And the butterfly, probably about $14 for it because, because I said so. All right, and then, or continuing 
I did buy some candy containers. These were from a Facebook Marketplace seller, but we've got the candy container of the dog. These would have had label, like paper labels on them and then filled with candy. We've got the dog. These are Friday night items. And then we have, oh, they're kind of similar, aren't they? And then we have the other dog right here. Okay. And then we've got this one. This one would have had a screw top. Okay. So each one of those I would sell for about six to eight dollars each. And I paid, I think, I think I paid twelve dollars for all three of them because they're part of a bundle thing and I was trying to make it worth my trip driving. They could have been even a little less than that though. I'm somewhere between nine to twelve dollars. I cannot remember for sure. It could have been nine dollars. But I, uh, these candy containers sell, usually sell for like six, eight dollars each. So that's what I'll try to do on it. But then I bought this little pink depression piece. It's pink, it's like a little, like a little bonbon dish sort of thing. And it was a dollar at a yard sale. So I picked, what? Oh, they marked it down from two dollars to a dollar. But it's really nice. I like the little handles on it. And I would most likely want to sell this during a Friday night sale as well. And then here's a big piece. This was from a yard sale. I like it. This one I'll sell on eBay, I think, but it is a covered dish. It is marked made in Finland. I bought it and back. The thing ran out of time. I bought it just because it is made in Finland. So it is marked right on the inside lid there. And then I like the, the silver and the red lines. And then the handles are cool. Just an overall nice piece. I'm not sure. Right Be right back. Okay, it was bubble wrap. I'm back though. So yeah, that piece is pretty cool. I don't know much about it. I would hope that it would sell for somewhere between 15, at least $15. I really do think it will because it's a cool looking piece, even for just display, but it's nice. I also bought a hen on a nest. This one is in pink glass, but it's also longer burger. So I knew that it was new by looking at it. It has that chunkier, kind of heavier, and the color isn't right for being older. I kind of figured that, but then obviously the bottom, it's marked uh, Longer Burger. But Longer Burger by itself is collectible, so I went ahead and bought it. So this was only $2 at a, $2 at a yard sale for a hen on a nest. And I did look it over ahead of time, and there are no chips or cracks. It's very nice shape. And I don't know what this sells for. I, I did not look it up before this video. I would imagine it would sell for, I'm thinking about 25, 30. That's just based on other hens on nests. And I maybe put a little bit more because of the, the size of it and the color. Yeah, it could be, it could be about $30, I would think, plus shipping. I also bought, Oh, this little Hummel thing. This is a Hummel, how does it work? Oh, you pull the string and then it plays music. Can we see, is it focus? There we go. All right, well now that's gonna keep going. It says the Happy Wanderer, Swiss musical movement. Yeah, that's gonna keep going, isn't it? Well, we'll put it over there. We'll have a little background music for a bit. And I also bought this really pretty yellow bowl. This one I bought because it is made in Portugal. So it's, I don't think terribly old, but I like the color and the little leaves on it. And it's made in Portugal and it's free of chips or cracks. And I paid $2. I mean, this, if you, if you had the choice to buy this or the hint on the NASC, nest for each two dollars the hen on a nest all all day long but i figured this was sort of different so i wanted to buy it i i would sell this in a friday night live sale i think just because i mean unless i look it up and it's worth you know considerably more at auction but i would think on a friday night live sale and just based on the looks of it maybe about twelve dollars ten to twelve dollars i also bought a butter dish. Now this was at a completely different yard sale. This is Le Cruzette. I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I do know that it's a collectible name. But this is a red butter dish in very, very nice shape. You can see that. There it is. No butter. 
but it's in great, great shape. And I paid $2 for it at a yard sale. So I'm pretty sure that I would be able to sell this for around at least $20 online. So that's nice. And then I bought this Italian piece here, a little candle thing. I, I mean, I guess there's not really a place for a candle, like a little lemon dish or something, but it was 50 cents. I bought it because it has pretty graphics on it and it's a nice little shape. So you could just put that on a table and put stuff in it. It's just cute. So I bought that. And then here's a little cast iron piece of a dog. This one was 25 cents. I, I think this would be another Friday Night Live item that I sell on YouTube. So I've got that. And this should sell for about eight to $10, I would imagine. Uh, I did get two Afghans. You can kind of see them. They are identical. And I think these were, yeah, they were $3 each. And that's a pretty good price. These are not huge, but they are great for like the back of a couch or something or just just a couch in general, you can snuggle with one. But I would expect to sell each one of those for like 15 to $20. Uh, if they were larger, if they were different, like in, they obviously Afghans can go for a lot more, but I would, ex I would expect to sell them for about $15 each. So $30 between the two and I paid six, that's pretty good. Um, a few more things left to go. I bought all of this silverware here. Now I already put it in this new bag and I already marked what's all included in it because it wasn't a different apparatus and I decided to, oh, that would've been bad. Um, and I decided to put it on here and count it out rather than what it came in. So this is called Distinction Deluxe Stainless Oneida in the Mansion Hall pattern. I'll show you that. So there's the, it's sort of a shiny, shiny gloss stainless steel. That would be a salad fork. So it's an 84 piece set. It comes with 10 dinner forks, 10 salad forks, 15 teaspoons, five tablespoons, 10 iced teaspoons, 10 cocktail forks, 10 steak knives, two pie servers, five serving spoons, three slotted serving spoons, one serving fork, two butter, two, oh, a butter and a jam, and then one ladle. So it comes with all of that, and I will sell it for about $140 with free shipping. Um, and because of that, I'm not sure. It'll, oh. honestly, the, uh, the first person to email me, and my email is in the, um, my email is like on the info page on, on my channel. You, you can get with me if you wanna buy this. I, uh, I don't think I'm gonna have it listed soon, sooner than later, but if I'm gonna sell it to somebody, uh, we could do it that way rather than go through eBay. Um, so yeah, a hundred, we'll say $140 with free shipping in, within the continental USA. And if it's outside of that, then I can work out a price for this, you know, but it's an overall very nice shape and you get all of those pieces. So, oh, I paid $8 for all of that. That was probably the find of the day. And I did get some um, paintings just to round it out. So this one was 50 cents. I like the, the shape of it and I like the uh, comp composition of it. So we've got the lake and everything. I got that one. This one is probably my favorite. So I got that. Now this one was a dollar. Very nice. And then the last picture that I got, oh, this one came out of its frame again and I already tried. This one might just be a dud. It's a little too yellow for me anyway the acid over, or the over time, the paper yellowed and it's not as, you know, vibrant or white. So that one was a dollar, but I got through everything. So I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye-bye.